Eight years ago, Alex Yost, John Heidel, and myself were at my uh, friend Alex's 50th birthday party. My friend John was building wonderful homes in North Raleigh already, and he says, you know, you and Alex live downtown. There's a huge opportunity to build some cool homes down there. Why don't we start a building company targeting, uh, you know, kind of high-end downtown homes? So we've been doing this for eight years. Uh, it's a wonderful business because I get to do it with my two best friends. Uh, Alex Yost and John Heidel, we travel together. We have kids all about the same age. We all have known each other for 20 plus years. They were at my weddings. I've been at their baptisms. I've been at their kids' you know, weddings. So we've, we've all kind of had grown up together, but now we get to do a business together as three friends. So it's really been a lot of fun. One of the jobs that I think as a builder we have is to try to figure out who the customer we need to build a home for is. And so depending on where the lot is and where the neighborhood is, that dictates a ton. In a neighborhood on a cul-de-sac, you know, you tend to gravitate towards more families. So building a home that's really targeted at a family is kind of in our mind. And so our, when our company builds a home for somebody, we want somebody with a family to walk on the house and go, this is perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for. And somebody who's a retired couple of walks through and goes, well, this isn't for us. And it's, that's okay because the house we built was for a family. Vice versa, there are times we build homes for people who are downsizing and retiring and they maybe need a little less space and they need more first floor living and they want higher end features and they're willing to spend a little bit more and they don't have kids. And so we build a home target at them. So really where the location is, is really dependent upon the type of home. So we start first with who do we think our buyer is gonna be for a home and then we design a home. In this home, this is, uh, we're in Wexford Reserve, this is Lot 44, it's one of our parade homes and so I hope everybody, if they get a chance, they'll come out and see this home. It's got an upstairs master and that upstairs master uh, allows for there to be a lot of living space on your first floor because you're not using that real estate on the first floor for your master. And it's got a huge vaulted ceilings and great big windows that look out the woods so it feels like you're looking out in Asheville out at the trees. And then you go into your, into your bathroom, uh, zero entry, a clawfoot tub, and then from your bathroom, you directly go into your closet, double closet, you know, with two bureaus for each side. And then what's really special, I think, and, and something people just don't think about is that you go from your closet into your laundry room with a door into your laundry room. And so when you think about living in a house and spending time in your home, having things conveniently located that makes sense. And so going from your closet to your laundry room is just a, you can push all your dirty clothes right in there and keep the mess out of the places where you're living. I just think people are looking for a little calmer experience in their homes. This house has an amazing scullery that you'll see in this house. Uh, a, an extra dishwasher, an extra refrigerator, a big extra farm sink, lots of lighting, plenty of counter space to do your baking or cooking and getting ready for a party. And on the other side is a huge area to store canned goods and you know all the things you would ever want to store in a pantry. Um, so that's the second feature in this house that I love. The third one, this one has a little pocket office that's charming. It's got two desks in it. When I think about this home, having a family in it, mom and dad are in the kitchen cooking dinner. And if they have children, having them in the little pocket office nearby where you know they're not upstairs playing video games and hanging out in their bedroom, but they can get their homework done. I think that's a kind of a cool thing. So those are some of my favorite features in this house. Um, it's a really, really nice floor plan. Very, very livable, but those are my three favorite features.